So some of you are new to real estate investing, all right? And you've made a decision that you want real estate to be able to help you live your best life, be able to help you live your dream life, right? So you set out on this quest to learn as much as possible about real estate and all the different strategies, all the different techniques, how you can attract sellers who are motivated sellers, who are buyers, who's cash buyers, where can you get funding from, you know, what kind of marketing you need to do, what kind of websites you need to build, what kind of phone calls, what kind of script, what kind of contract you need to have. Like you are doing everything at least you think you're doing everything possible to make sure that you get your business like off the ground and i don't doubt that you believe that you are doing everything possible to get your business off the ground because in the beginning when i started out i felt the same way too i was like why is this not working for me why it, well, how come i don't have my first deal i started just you know 30 days ago why do i not have my first deal right so I want you to have patience with yourself, all right? And the reason why I'm telling you to have patience with yourself because if you're anything like me, you are your own worst critic, all right? You will say things in your mind that discourages you <laughs> and deflates your own motivation. So here's what I mean. If you are saying that you can't, if that word can't is in your vocabulary, then it's counterproductive to your goals and what you want out of life, all right? So if you haven't made a goal to contact 100 people per day, yeah, I said it, a minimum of 100 people per day, whether that's driving for dollars, whether that's using Craigslist or public websites, domains to contact people and to send them like emails, send them ringless voicemail messages, send them uh, text mail text messages or you haven't like build a website and you did like your search engine optimization and you use artificial intelligence you're doing um, you know Facebook bots you're doing letters you're doing postcards you're doing lumpy mail you're doing um, you're going to your county and seeing if your county can give you you know um, a list of um, a downloaded of, of properties that you can actually use for your mailers if you're not going to list source if you're not downloading and using your different website resources to actually create lists for yourselves if you haven't exhausted every single possible opportunity for you to actually start your marketing talk to people pick up your phone actually be able to go out knock on doors meet people um, if you're not up Saturday morning like me getting ready to uh, scour neighborhoods and find out who's having garage sales and estate sales so you can ask them why they're moving why are they selling I mean if you haven't done all of these things that I'm saying you actually don't have you don't have and you're not entitled to complain you're not entitled to say I can't or is not working you're not entitled not yet you can't you're not eligible not yet even seasoned investors like myself and you know some people that may be watching right now when they are there they know that it takes work now the problem is is that when you got into real estate and you made a decision that you were going to use real estate as your vehicle to help you accomplish your dreams of financial freedom somewhere along the line somebody told you it was easy somebody convinced you that all you had to do is you know put a couple of ads out and that you know a thousand people were going to be beating down your door and you did that and you realize that it didn't happen so here's what the gurus tell you they make it seem like it's so easy and it really it, it isn't can you be an overnight success yeah i think it's possible is it more than likely probably not <laughs> that probability is very very slim how you can be successful is put in the time, put in the work, and actually just go for it. Stay positive, do everything, exhaust every opportunity that there is. Have you even joined your local real estate investors association? Have you even started to go to local meetups in your area? Have you even started to go to open houses? Those are free. Those are absolutely free. And networking with uh, real estate agents and seeing if they can bring you deals. Absolutely free. Doesn't cost you anything but time 
and effort and tenacity all right so i'm sharing with this message with you all today as words of encouragement keep going okay you cannot give up on yourself or give up on the process you cannot say oh poor me i haven't gotten my first deal yet okay fine you haven't gotten your first deal yet but guess what have you honestly done everything that you possibly can to get your first deal that's a question that you need to answer for yourself. And I know it resonates with you because when I used to complain and complain about not having my first deal, my mentor put me on the spot and said, hey, Jackie, you're not doing everything that you possibly can do. So stop, quit complaining and stop acting like, you know, the whole world is against you and on your shoulders when you know that you haven't done everything possible to actually put all of your education into work. Anyway. That's my message for you guys today. Stay positive, get out there, get after it, and just do it. It will come to pass. Your goals, your dreams will come true. All right, talk to you soon.